Uh, but the tools you're going to need are going to be some sort of drill or impact. Either one will work. Needle nose pliers for your pins. Regular pliers for holding the back side of bolts. And sockets. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to install these Gorilla Lifts. I have not fully installed these. I figured I'd just save you guys the unboxing and the, you know, the boring parts. You basically get these two sections. These two sections. You're going to get your spring for each side. Your cable and your hardware. Some cotter pins and some directions. Uh, so basically what you do, you start out, you put these... Lay them on your trailer rail. Make sure they're at least a fourth inch from this gate. Uh, so from the edge. Then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make sure that the gorilla lift and the website's on the outside of the trailer. You're going to want to make sure that this slants towards the rear. Alright, so then what you want to do, simply move this. Mark your hole for here. Mark your hole for here. Put this one back. I marked mine with the sharpie so I'd know where it was at. Move that section back. Mark your hole for this section. Mark your hole for this section. Once you get all that done, set these down. Sorry, I had to sneeze. You wanna drill half inch holes. They are gonna be oversized, it said. Um, I definitely started out with a smaller drill bit and then worked my way up for this trailer. It's really thick. Uh, if you have a not so thick trailer, you should be good. I think we're only going to do one side. We're going to see how it lifts with just one side on. And if it's not enough, we will put two because we do have a pretty heavy gate on this trailer. It's really thick. But uh, we'll keep you updated on how to install this thing. All right, guys. You're going to want that bolt inside to be flat as it can be. You don't want that spring getting caught on it. You're going to put the washer and lock nut that they provided. And that is a 13 millimeter nut, if you're wondering. I'm gonna screw that end in. I wanna screw these two in. And you're gonna wanna screw this one on the end in. I actually ordered some end caps to cap this off as well. So these are long, I guess if you have a tube trailer, it'll fit it as well. But uh, funny thing is, if you have a steel chainsaw tool, right out of 13 millimeters so fits it perfect so they're all tight tighten those up now we just got to put the springs in before you put on the locking pin you want to slide the cable starting through the back and the spring on the back side all the way through until it comes out on this end so this is where you're going to be hooking to your gate then you want to put this pin through the back of this spring you want to make sure you get it through both of these spring holes come around to this side then you're going to want to put your washer and your locking pin all right guys install these rollers there's two of them you want to put the top roller in put your pin through then you want to put two uh washers there and then your pin and you repeat the same steps on the bottom, two washers and a pin. It says put two washers on this side to make it work correctly. I was going to put one on this side and one on this side. It would have did the same thing. But the directions said put them on this side, so that's what I did. All right, guys, before you drill your hole in the back of your gate for the pin assist that this wire is going to go on, they give you a hook. You can actually run this cable to the hook to your gate. And you can raise and lower that to find out where you want it at. Let's see, I think you heighten it to get more action. Oh man, that's super light. And that's just with one. I'm not going to use a second one. I mean, that's, that's plenty of help. I mean, I can one hand this thing. Yeah, that's plenty. So that right there will save your back. Um, so we're going to get this bolted up up here. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, this is what the finished product looks like. Bolt it down one, two, three, four. Spring on that end. Run your wire. Connect these. Remember, two washers on this side, folks. One on that back. And up here, you want to put a washer out here. You want to put your cable on. You want to put a nut with the locking side towards your trailer gate. 
then you're going to want to put another washer another nut with locking side and going in and then just tighten that up with some pliers um, all these bolts are a little long i guess it's so if you have square tubing so i will be cutting those off but all in all i mean it looks good it is yellow i may paint that not sure but i mean it looks pretty good uh, i did put it on the trimmer rack side i run an edger down here um and then the wheel sits right here and it keeps the edger from spinning which i just installed these racks i'll do a video on those turn the iron image you know they're full tube made in texas uh, you know one locking system but anyway back to the grill lift let's see it in action this is with one hand and trust me guys that is not a light gate And we can lift it with one hand. Very easy. Do that about 20 times a day, it'll definitely save your back. So we're not gonna run two, I think one's enough. The other one I feel like would just get in the way. That's it guys, that's the grill lift. On a pretty, I'd say a heavy, on one to 10, I'd say it's about a 7.5 heavy wise gate and one is plenty enough so i think i'm gonna put the other one on a different trailer thanks guys like subscribe comment appreciate it what's going on guys just remember if you buy the gorilla lifts buy this little black plug right here i don't know what it's called it was on amazon it said people usually buy it with it uh, i just got it in the mail put it in and it keeps this from being open and you know rain and stuff getting in it so check those out we like the gorilla lift we only use one side and we are liking the new Trinity racks. They are nice.